They did all that they could. They raised armies the likes of which hadn't been seen in their realms. They built walls around their simple towns where they lived happily for generations, milking sheep, burying gold, talking about leprechauns, and then the Vikings invaded. And I know what you're thinking. I thought the same thing myself. When the Vikings invaded, there wasn't much to stop them, except for aliens. All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome to a little indie game called Make War. So, I like to think of this as a bit of a Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator, Totally Aggro Battle Simulator, Happy Room, and the voxel style reminds me of Clone Drone and the Danger Zone, some of my favorite indie games right now. It's kind of a puzzler in a way. So what we gotta do is we gotta unlock this. Victory of the Vikings by a margin of 30. Let's try to do that by ruining these guys. So let's play some landmines in front of them. Oh, that's a beautiful formation you have. Be a shame if I used advanced alien technology to, you know, cut you to pieces. So here we go. We put some of our melee guys. Now, can we get a Viking? See, look, we've got aliens, we've got Vikings, and we've got the British. I'm assuming they're British. I mean, the Vikings just loved invading England, right? So, and then you get this giant skirmish free-for-all, a fracas, if you will, and I will. The Vikings are doing good. Oh, oh, come on. Please stay above 30. Yes! And now we've unlocked a new alien technology to harass the mere mortals. These silly people from the planet Earth. Look at this. They can't even speak in English. So similar to Happy Room, the more we do and beat these challenges, the more things that we unlock. And you can see that we have quite a bit. So what if the Vikings landed in their amphibious invasion, which is my favorite type of battle? I have no idea why. Probably because I love the ocean. I don't know. It's fascinating, amphibious attacks, right? So what if the aliens were just like, you know what? I'm going to defend against this Viking D-Day. Let's see how it, how it does. So we've got these guys with laser rifles, which don't seem to be doing very good once the enemy gets up close. So I, I'd like to think of it that we're kind of like sending our minions down, right? And toying with humanity. All right, so what I'm going to do is put a little alien contingency down here. Let's see, where can we put the mines? A little... they call these mines? All right, aliens. Now, our goal here is to kill six enemies. There we go. We unlocked a new weapon, which looks like a sonic ring. Nope, it's a teleportation device. Okay, so basically, after we run, there's nothing else really going on. Kill aliens. So we can stop this commander. The alignment of armies has changed. Oh, my God. The British have evolved. Now they have these really good knights. These guys look like they have some kind of ranged weaponry themselves. Are they British longbows? I really wish, like, this was kind of like in Minecraft and you could become the soldier. Oh, that'd be glorious. Yeah, so it looks like the teams are getting... Looks like they're getting archers now. They're getting ranged units. All right, so we've set up one portal here. Wonder if we can set these up and transport the archers into, like, a killing field of some sort? All right. So what's the objective? Teleport 45 units. That's gonna be a little bit tricky. I guess we could try that next time. And then kill eight units after teleporting? That's what we're trying to do up here. So let's see. Oh, good lord. They got attracted. They're not really coming out of the teleporter, are they? Oh! The landmines are doing some good stuff, though. So the archers have a really, really far range. But we did manage to do the eight units after teleporting. Now, one of the things we can do, ooh, kill 40 use, units using a turret. So we need to unlock a turret. I don't know how we do that. It might be the next one. So we need the Vikings to win by a margin of 50. Easy. Just hire me. I'm like a mercenary. I'm a sellsword, but I'm from another planet. All right, so what we're doing is we're putting the landmines in front of the, what I think is the more dangerous unit, the archers here. And then we've got, oh my God. They, these are definitely British longbowmen. Look at that. They don't even need to get close, but I guess neither do the Vikings, so we put our guys in the middle here, and I don't think we did anything. Oh, teleport 45 units? We could do that. All right, so I put one of my guys in front of the teleportation devices, hopefully transporting enough people. Look at this. Oh, oh, nine? We're at nine. We're at nine. But the archers are coming through now. Okay. Can we get... Come on. Yes! And we unlocked another ranged unit. Okay, so we didn't unlock the turret just yet. We're gonna have to try a little bit harder. 
And these archers have significant range. I'm not sure the best way to destroy them yet because their range is really, really good. But having a Viking margin of victory of 50 seems somewhat possible until these guys are charging these archers. Look, we can only lose like eight more. Oh, the, I think we're going to go down. We're definitely going down, right? Wait. Oh, no way. No way did that work. <laughs> That's a margin of 50. Perfectly. So we unlock two this time. All right, so the one we're going for here is uh, kill 28 units using any weapons or troops. I don't know, man. 18 units using mines is going to be a little tricky when we only have four mines. I put them here. We'll see what happens. And I put all my guys down here. What I'm trying to do is create a victory for the knights. So what I basically did was allow their knights to spawn in. I actually don't know if that was a good idea. I don't think that was a good idea. That was definitely a bad idea. As an alien overlord here just messing with everything, by the way, you can download this for free. The link is going to be in the video description below. Now, it would be nice. Oh, okay, good. We can fast forward. So I really like this. Do you think, do you think we're going to get a victory for the knights? I think so. It'll be just barely. But there's definitely more British archers left versus Viking archers. Look at that, they're producing strawberry jam. And it's a victory for the knights. Oh, victory of the knights by a margin of 50, hmm? Oh no. I put my landmines up here and the guy's charged. Hold on, I know how we can use that. We'll put the landmines right here. Okay, so four landmines. And we'll, we'll stagger them a little bit. And I'm hoping that they only seem to get like one or two at a time, not a whole lot. Yeah, we only killed five with our landmines. There's still this one right here. So what we're trying to do is get a margin of victory of 50. I don't think it's gonna happen because the knights keep teleporting up and then we're gonna get targeted by the archers. Oh, you know what these are? Oh, I was gonna say they look like crossbowmen for a second. No, it's just archers because when you look really closely, looks like they put their bow on the ground and then knock it so it's almost like a crossbow. It's just the it's just the animation here. All right, let's speed this up. So what is it? end the battle in 50 seconds? We'll have to use teleportation to get that. All right, so we're gonna try to end the battle in 50 seconds. So I put some mines here and some teleporters. So hopefully the majority of the units get up close and personal, right? And then are able to be targeted easier. There's only a few archers left and we're at 30. Come on, 41, yes! And we unlock the turret. Okay, good. This is going to be a key weapon of alien mischief that we're going to be using. Oh, but it looks like their forces have changed as well. But we get three turrets, huh? We gotta see just how good these are. All right, so what we're gonna see is if we can get 40 units with the uses of our turrets here. Oh my god. They're at eight, six? Come on. Oh, are they out of ammunition? You gotta be kidding me. We only needed six more left. Oh, the turrets were overrun. How is it? What is happening? Did we get anything? I guess we did do this. 28 units. So, I don't think anything's gonna happen, so we can just pause this. Now, what did we upgrade? I think we got another alien soldier? No? We got an extra melee guy. Alright, I figured this out. Check this out. So, turrets, you can... When you place them, you can click on them again. And you can see... I guess what we're gonna try to... Oh... I have an idea. So, look at this. I can alter its angle and have it fire down the line. Now, you can even delay them, so... Let's see, what if we try that? Oh man, I, I wonder how good this is gonna be. Let's just do our test. Oh, they keep running, so I don't think we got that many of them. I take it back! We got a ton! <laughs> okay. Now, our guys get overwhelmed. Now, we're not gonna get anything else. Kill units via Tesla. And then victory for the knights by a margin of 50. We could try to go for that. Kill 40 knights. Kill 40 knights on the coast. We're gonna have to use teleportation to do that. All right, so check this out. We've got four of them. Oh, hoo, 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 boy. All right, let's see how this... Oh, the turrets obviously killed my own guys too. But I think I can use them as bait. Wow, we actually got 11 using that. And then our guys are back here. We need like bunkers or towers for them or something like that. And maybe putting the turrets or, or melee guys next to the archers would be good. So we need to kill... Oh, the knights are dying on the coast. We're actually getting this. Yes, 
So we got an extra mine, and then a margin of victory for the Knights of 50 is possible. It is possible. Oh, it's very doable. It's gonna happen. There's only six of them left. There's over 50, and boom! We unlocked the Tesla power. All right, so let's see first what the Tesla coils do. Oh. <laughs> they zap people as they get close to them. So I think Tesla coils would work really well with teleporters. So we got another uh, a portal. Oh, what are these guys? Are these farmers with pitchforks? What kind of units are these? I think they're farmers. Seems to make sense. Oh, and these are Viking Berserkers. They've got twin axes. Haha. <laughs> Alright, so what I did this time was I put a delay on these things, so hoping that they would converge like they are, and then my turrets would get a decent amount. Oh my gosh. So we got 100 enemies destroyed, mostly probably due to these Tesla coils. So I'm thinking this is the sweet spot. If we put the Tesla coils like right here, that's where they converge on. That's where we could get even more. Now, killing an exact number of 25. Uh, teleporting's easy. The battle must go on for 90 seconds. This one's not gonna go on for 90 seconds. I think in order to do that, we're gonna have to use some advanced teleportation devices. Yeah, because this one went on for just about a minute. All right, so what we're doing is having all the teleporters put their guys out near the Tesla coils. So, uh, I guess they kind of were distracted. Hold on, I think we can do better if we just get rid of the soldiers and have them go towards the middle. Oh, that kind of worked. Oh, there's guys in the trees. They all seem to be going over here and over there. Oh, an army, alien army should kill 50 units. How did we do? How did, how did we do? I don't think we did very well. Look at this, catch 35 units. Uh, alien army should kill 50 units. Uh, we could probably do that with landmines. Okay, so I think what I wanna do is try to create like a little fort that like they can't really get around and they have to go through Tesla coils to get our guys. And then we need to kill what, 50 is it? So if we put everybody back there, we put this really strong defensive line. It's the Siegfried line of aliens. Oh, the Tesla coils. Did the Tesla coils zap my own guys? Or was it arrows? Who's this dude? It's like Mr. Bear Man. 50 units we have to kill, huh? But there's only three guys left. How did they die? Come on, can you please? Eight, six, four, three. Oh, they're getting killed by arrows. There's only two lead needed to get. Okay, so what happened was they were too close to the Tesla coils. Oh, this is working a lot better. Although they do have archers. Come on. Ugh. We need 20 left, but our guys have superior range. Four, three, two, yes! We've unlocked a new weapon. Okay, the new technology is definitely ours, so it's hypnosis. And then that, I want to unlock this, the mothership. That is the goal. Look, we actually won the battle, oh my god. Oh, now they have a huge army. And this looks like a new unit too. I don't know what, is that just a stronger, yeah, that's a stronger Viking axe man. But, we have a hypnosis tower, so we're the strongest guys. Oh, and look at this. Okay, so what happens when they... Do they turn to our team? Hypnosis seems to just slow them down. It kind of pauses them for a second. But it's not as cool as I thought it was going to be. Hypnosis 70 units. Oh, we got very close. Oh my god, this is actually working. This hi These hypnosis towers are allowing me to kill the guys when they get close. Come on, just one more, one more, one more, one more. Are you kidding me? Yes! We unlocked a new mothership! Okay, pause everything. Mothership, what- what is your purpose? A UFO! Okay, how does it work? Oh my god, is this what I think it is? I'm gonna call the UFO here. Oh, look at that! Okay, so if we put that around, we're literally summoning a UFO to join us. Okay, and catch 20 units after teleporting- <gasps> No way! That's how we do it, boys. All right, so what we're doing is we're setting out portals all over the place. I'm trying to catch as many of these guys as is possible. Oh, and then we got a tele... Hmm. I don't know how well this is going to work. Let's just try it. So we're trying to get them to come here. How many did we get? Oh, two? That's weak. The hypnosis tower kind of worked. 
We got three. Catch 25 units after teleporting. I don't know how many we're gonna need. Aliens must survive during 90 seconds? Catch 35 units, we've got three. The challenges are getting incredibly difficult. All right, let's see if this works. Oh, not, not good enough. Ooh, I don't know how we're supposed to get 35. That was, that was pretty decent. 19. Look at how cool this thing is, though. But trying to suck up 35, we get really, really close to catching a bunch. These berserkers are super strong. Having the battle last 95 seconds seems tough. The trick would probably be to get rid of all the archers, because the archers just really expedite the speed of these battles. I don't know, man. I still wish I could go down in first person or even third person in Minecraft mode. Someone needs to do this in Minecraft. Are there any cool, like, castle sieges in Minecraft? Oh, man, we got 67. I guess that's nowhere close to 90. 23 more seconds, huh? I've got it. Because you can place the mothership anywhere? Get him! Oh! Is it- What? Really? That's it? Can we- Can we cause a delay? Hold on, maybe that's the trick. Yes! Let's delay it by another five... Six seconds. Mass up my minions. Oh, that's a ton. That is a ton. All right, so the UFO should come now. The archers are... Ooh! -hoo! All right, this has to work. Yes! Oh, wait, I did something. Yes! Okay, we got two right there. The aliens are not gonna survive here. For... <laughs> we survived a whopping 10 seconds. We caught 35 units and tw caught 25 after teleporting them. That's pretty phenomenal, so let's go ahead and see what we've unlocked. There's still two more technologies that we can get for the aliens, but anyway, this is Make War, where basically we're gonna go around to different historical battles here. I guess it's the Norman invasion of England. Then what we're going to do is start doing our little bits of alien mischief. And it's a really fun kind of like a uh, challenging game. It's a little bit of a puzzle. It's kind of like Happy Room in that aspect. But if you want to see more or if you want to download it, links in the video description. If you want to if you want me to play more, let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video.